Today is all about getting this garage cleaned out. So ever since we moved in, we had like a building or a little shed at our last house. And so we didn't have one here. So we just threw everything in here that would have been in that um, small shed. And we ordered one for the new house and they gave us four to six weeks. It's been 12 and they're finally delivering it. So I can't wait to get all of this cleared out and all of this organized, um, but I'll go show you where we're gonna be putting the building. Okay, so we're gonna be putting the building right here and it was behind the fence. So we actually had to take down a whole chunk of the fence so it can be delivered in. I'm gonna show that process just so you guys can see how it's done. We had to dig out one of the posts. We've got to re-put in once it gets delivered, but we have this whole area over here. You guys never really see it when I'm filming because we only show the backyard. This is like the side yard and it's actually really, really large. I don't know if you can tell on camera. So it's gonna fit perfectly right there. And then we'll have our dads come. They helped us take this off. We'll have them come back and help us put it on because this is super heavy. Was that heavy? Yeah, it's really heavy. And then we'll lift it and put it all back right here. So this is just the joy of owning a new house. You have to do all the work for the next people that get to just move in and enjoy it all. <laughs> so this is what we do. And this is basically how we make so much on our houses is we come in and there's not much to them. And then we customize it for the next people. Okay, and I know I'll probably get lots of questions. We have no intentions on selling this anytime soon right now. We'd love to customize it so we can enjoy it, but we also like to do it because when we sell it, it makes more money. But I know you guys are all wanting a patio update. Um, the original concrete company did show up and grind it finally. And you guys can tell by these pictures, um, a lot of the concrete was a different consistency in different areas. Like some you can really see the rocks in, some you can't. And then it also left all of this like concrete dust and more, more so sludge because they had to keep it wet as they were grinding it and it was just ruining our sod. So Chase actually went in and scooped all of this up. It was so gross and so nasty to deal with. I didn't even film it because I was so stressed out. I just stayed inside, but I'm gonna show you a clip right here. This is the after. So we had to rip up a lot of our sod around the concrete. Um, this patio has just been a nightmare, but I, it is safe to say it's finally finished. You'll see that later throughout the video, but we had taken all of our furniture and thrown it up on the trampoline because we had our yard people coming to spray. A new patio um, company was coming to help us with the concrete. And then we also had our shed being delivered. So it was a crazy day. Okay, it's a little later than expected. They're supposed to be here between like 11 and noon and it's like 4-ish, 4.30, but the shed arrived and the concrete, we hired a new company to fix our concrete, so they're on their way. So we're gonna get this day finally started. It was a crazy couple days just getting all of this figure out and arranged and scheduled. And what's so funny is we had scheduled them on the same day and they were supposed to both be in there in the morning. And then one didn't show up, the other one didn't show up. Basically all three companies end up showing up like four hours late, but like at the exact same time. So you're gonna see like the concrete company working on the patio. Chase was trying to help the movers with the shed to get it in the exact spot because obviously once they left, we will never be able to move this thing unless we call them back out. So we were just going back and forth trying to help each other on like, how are we gonna have the concrete cut? Where's the shed gonna exactly go? I don't know, it was a mess. I'm just so glad it's all done, but it definitely was a crazy hour when everybody showed up and we were trying to make like final decisions.
So the movers that were in charge of bringing us our building or shed were amazing. If you're local and you need a building delivered or relocated or whatever, definitely hit me up and I'll give you guys their name. But they were incredible. They were so much fun. He kept telling me to like get my studded sandals off and get over there and start helping them. <laughs> I don't know. It was just super fun. We definitely needed them at that time because everything was just so stressful with like the patio and everything that had been going on. But like I said, they were awesome. The second crew of um, the concrete company that came up, they were amazing as well. Um, so what we decided to go ahead and just make do with the patio because basically we can't get the other company to write back. We were just trying to fix it as best we could without ripping it out and putting a new one in because that is so expensive. <laughs> so we're trying to keep the cost low as much as we can because now we're having to put more money into the patio that should have been finished. So they suggested just doing like diamond cuts and that's gonna kind of hide some of the flaws and textures and different designs and it really did. You're about to see it here in a second. I feel like it's a really cool look. It's something different, it's unexpected and it definitely helped just hide all those flaws. The company left there obviously was a ton of like concrete dust and art grass now so originally it was like a wet sludge now it's just white dust so Chase and Savannah were actually gone running a few errands so I grabbed the shock bag and I thought I bet I can vacuum a lot of this up and it actually worked really well I will say all of our new neighbors have no idea what we do yet. So when they're looking out their windows and I'm filming myself vacuuming our grass, I'm sure they think I'm like cuckoo crazy, but it really did work. It got a lot of that up because as soon as I'm finished with this, I'm gonna take the hose and try to rinse off a lot of that dry dust. And they also put like chalk lines on our concrete to know where to cut. And I wanna wash all that off. But if I did that first, that water would get on this dust and it would make that sludge again. So it basically just turns it into wet concrete and then the boys step on it, they drag it inside, it dries to their paws. It is just no fun. So I just spent as much time as I could literally vacuuming up the grass. <laughs> most people go into buying a new house and they tell themselves like let's buy this because then we won't have to do anything to it and some of you guys might actually do that with me I have to find a way to like make it my own make it stand out um, just make it like a really fun place to live and so we love having our back patio at our houses I just feel like they're so nice to have you know we like to create accent walls we just like to turn the plain and boring into fun elements that are really unexpected expected when you walk in either for our guests or for us or for new buyers and so we just love going around making these dream homes we turn it into a dream home for us but then when we sell it it turns into somebody else's dream home and they didn't have to do any of the work so we go in and just put all that time and effort into it and we get to enjoy it and live in it for a while but then when we sell it it's just so fun to hand the keys over and let somebody else enjoy a home that we put so much work into
once I got to like the very end, I realized I had never put on the attachment to like make it longer so I didn't have to like bend over, but what do you do? <laughs> Some days when you're so busy, you're just not thinking clearly. And I know you see a lot of that white dust coming out, but it was still a lot less than what I was actually vacuuming up. That shot back got so full and so heavy. I had to let Chase take care of it to dump it out because I could barely even like move it around. And then I noticed a lot of the white chalky dust was right here by my back door. I wanted to get it cleaned up because all of this stuff has just been coming into my house and it is so dirty. Thankfully, we have like the wood tile floor so I can just vacuum it up and mop it, but I will be so glad when all this dust is finally gone. It'll just take a little while to clear out. But I am super thankful how it turned out. Um, we reached out to a lot of concrete companies and basically it's not a structural issue so this should still last a while now that we got it like grinded down the edges aren't as pretty as our last patio but i think the grass will grow up to most of it and cover it but now that it's been grinded down and now that we have the diamond cuts it's a lot more visually pleasing so basically it was a cosmetic issue not really a structural issue from what i hear now with everything, you know, for the eight people that said it wasn't structural, then there would be two that said it needed to be torn out and started over. So we never know, but right now it looks pretty. It looks so much better than what it did the last month. Um, this has been about 60 days of craziness. So I can't even explain to you how happy I am that it's like done. I can clean it. We can put our furniture on and just start enjoying it now. While we're kind of facing the shed right here, I thought I would address this. Um, we haven't like painted or stained the ramp you can see over there. I thought it would come um, painted, but I guess they don't do that. But our fence guy that actually stained our fence is gonna be back. It's part of the service. He comes back a second time to touch it up. We're just gonna go ahead and probably have him spray that ramp. So there'll be a wood element on it and it'll be the exact same stain that we used on the fence. I could paint it black, um, but I think it'll chip easier. And if I do white, obviously that'll get too dirty. So I think just staining it's probably our best bet. So a tip that I always share when I create videos like this is just to make your current space your dream home. It doesn't mean it has to be your home forever. You may sell it one day and let it be somebody else's dream home or dream apartment or condo, whatever it is. But if you're living there, start doing little DIYs just to make it your dream place. And that's just the biggest thing is don't save it for later, do it now. This will have to be in an upcoming video because we obviously didn't have time to do it. This day was already so crazy. Um, but we're gonna have to go around the bottom of the house and repaint it. I feel like a lot of concrete got splattered up on it and they didn't like wipe it off when it was wet. So we're gonna paint over that. Um, I always get asked, are white houses like high maintenance? They're not super high maintenance as long as you don't mind cleaning them off occasionally. And if it does get issues with it, you just kind of have to go over and touch it up. Now it's a little soon to be doing touch ups, but that's our fault. It's because we have patio laid, like the rest of the house is fine. But I just wanted to address that. If you see it, we will be painting, you know, the back around the bottom close to the concrete because it is a little dirty, but the concrete is finished. The shed has been delivered, all good things. It feels so good to have those done. But another issue I have back here on the patio is this rug. I love it to death. It's boutique rugs, but it blows up in the wind a lot. And so I took some of this tape and stuck it down so I don't have any of those issues. Um, I grabbed this off Amazon, so I'll link it down below for you in my description box. Um, if you're using this like indoor, you don't need a ton. You can just cut off a little square and put it in the corner, but it is out here outside and it is so windy in Oklahoma. So I used quite a bit just so we wouldn't have the issue of it blowing up and it has helped so much.
Like I mentioned, this tape is good for indoors as well, just in case you trip a lot or you have kids running and like a corner always pulls up. It's really good just to tape it down so you feel nice and safe and secure and then your rugs won't move at all. But it's really good for outdoors if you live in a windy area like me. It used to drive me crazy. But here is how the patio is looking now that everything's complete. Um, we got our second lounger in. We had mentioned in the last video they shipped us the wrong part, so we got that in. But now let's talk about this garage. I showed you guys it in my last video. We just threw everything from our old um, building or shed into our third car garage and then ordered at this building and it just took a little bit longer than we expected to get here, but it's here so that's all that matters. But now we gotta take everything out of this garage and get it over into our shed. We were trying to get this done super quickly because we had our dads coming over to help Chase put the fence back on where they had pulled the building through. And last minute I decided like, hey, the moms are coming with them. Maybe we should just do a small little happy Mother's Day dinner for them and surprise them. So we were trying to clear out the garage before the fence went up because that was like the fastest way to get it into that area versus like walking it all the way around the house. And then I was trying to get dinner ordered, so we had something to eat. And then I knew I had to take a quick shower um, because we were so nasty just from working outside all day. So we were just taking as much as we could and just throwing it in our backyard. You can see right here, it's all lined up against the house. We knew once we got it over there and then they put the fence up, we could organize it afterwards or at least put it in. But we were just trying to get as much as we could out of the garage into the other side of that fence where it was gonna be putting up. Now I know all of these storage pieces are not like Pinterest worthy or Instagram worthy, but they were all cheap and all from garage sales. They were all like under $5 each. A lot of them were like only a dollar and that's what we keep a lot of our items on. And I will say our focus was just getting everything out of the garage and into the shed. We didn't spend much time like making sure it was super organized. We know we're gonna be putting the pull up soon. So we had to leave some of that towards the front where we could get to it. So once we pull out um, all the pool supplies, um, we'll definitely organize this better. And I'm sure I'll be showing that in a video. But right now, like I said, the main goal was just to get it out of our garage so we could start enjoying that space more. Just watch me break in A lot of people here in Oklahoma do have sheds or buildings. I know I get asked this a lot, um, like, do we have a basement? We really don't have basements in Oklahoma. We have some, like some older houses have them, but they're not very common. It's something to do with our soil. So for storage, typically you have to put them up in an attic, but a lot of these pieces either don't fit up in the attic or they're way too heavy to be up there. Um, we have just a lot of tools since we do so many DIYs, so it's just easier for us to have a shed that we can throw everything in, especially with the mower. Those get really smelly, so you don't want them in your garage. But here's how the garage turned out. It is nice and empty and clean and glorious. And then the shed is cram packed and full, but that's okay. I don't have to stare at that every time I pull my car in the garage. Like I said, we will organize that here soon, but that was just not on the list for that particular day. But we got a ton done. We're super excited how everything's coming along now. We got to mark a lot off the list. <laughs> that felt amazing. So thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching us make this home our dream home. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.